Somehow we are almost a week into the World Series of Poker already. It does feel like time is going by scarily fast right now. It's day six and the final flight of the housewarming event. Over 7,200 players turned up today, adding another $3 million to that prize pool. It had a guarantee of 5 million and we're gonna see it end up almost double that. So as things stand, we are at 20,080 players uh, for the total registration, which brings prize pool to 8,435,000. Uh, as things stand, we've had 560 players have qualified for day two. We will see expected about another 300 or so from the end of today with minimum cash is starting at $800. Sources inside the tournament have said that we are looking at possibly a one and a half million dollar figure up top. With the massive fields showing up so early on in the series, it's beginning to look like a huge year for the World Series of Poker. We spoke to some regulars to see what their thoughts were on a potentially record-breaking main event. Um, yeah, everything's been massive so far, so I think we, there's a good chance we'll get a, a record field for the main, uh, maybe like 11 and a half, go really big. I don't know if that's really big or not, I'm really bad at guessing these things, but I'll say 11 and a half, why not? Uh, yeah, without question. I was, I was actually talking about this earlier today. Um, I think that we, we get near or crack the 10k mark for sure. Gonna be, yes, this year, gonna be top the World Series two years ago. Two years ago it was over 20,000, right? Yeah. I think going to be around 25,000 or more this year. Going to be so big, baby. But see, that's how Scotty like that, baby. I like big price pool. I want a broke record. God, how many was last year? Like 6,000? Yeah, yeah, I, I think know, seven. 9,000? Yeah, it's... I mean, everybody's back and people are comfortable playing and comfortable being around other people. and. Um, yeah, it's going to be big. It's cool. It's it's cool seeing poker back. And elsewhere, the 25K continues along with some mixed games. How are things going here in the 25K tournament? Uh, we're in the money right now and uh, have above average. So this is a pretty exciting spot and it'd be fun to get, to get lucky right now. Right next to the 25K high roller, the 10K dealer's choice got underway. And as if choosing from the list of the 20 games wasn't enough, a percentage of the field was also multi-tabling another game, online, in the form of the two WSOP Golden Bracelet events. After last night's epic heads-up bracelet win, Dan Smith gave some insight into his experience playing against serial tanker Christoph Vogelson. His antics at the, behave at the table aren't great. Away from the table, he is such a sweetheart. Ideally, there would be rules in, in place, but it's a very challenging problem. Like, even if he took the full 30, every, every action with shot clocks, it's not great. Playing that slowly isn't fun and it's a worse product. And to be honest, I don't even think it's in his own best interest. Um, I actually don't think it's that controversial. I, I think the, the real issue here is that there's no rules against it. Uh, and I'm very much of the mind of it's a gentleman's game and we should all kind of abide by the same unspoken rules. I think the problem you have is that like, it's, there are going to be in a lot of situations where it's advantageous to tank and smart poker players are going to do everything they can to do money. So I think it's kind of on the rule making guys to make sure it's not doable with maybe shot clocks or something. It's really stupid. I back a long time, like all the speech play, it's really dumb. I just think it's stupid. I mean, it's like, I don't know. I, if it happens to me, I will do exactly what Scott Seaver said, and I will call a floor man and just have him stand right there. That said, I imagine this event has a shot clock next year. Uh, I would hope that we discourage this type of play in the future. I, I think, you know, Christoph's one of the most likable guys on the tour, but unfortunately, it's brutal to have to sit through minutes and minutes of the thought process. I mean, because I know Christoph, he's a, he's a great guy and stuff, but I mean, he's there to win money, and if that's the, how he make, you know, if he's, that's gonna make him the most money, that's what he's gonna do, so. I think you have to put it in the rules, otherwise, you know, we're scum, we'll just try and find every edge. Every poker player, we'll try and find every edge possible. You have to make it airtight, so we can't do it, that's how it works.